Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF merchandise review video, and this is a video I'm really excited about. Look at what I've got! Look at the size of this frickin' box! And inside this gigantic box from Funko is the brand new Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach Snaps. From the promo images we saw these guys when they first got announced, I frickin' adored their detail. I thought they looked spot on to the characters. So to have these guys arrive so soon has been an absolute pleasure, and I absolutely cannot wait to take a good look at these guys. So if you're also excited to jump right into reviewing these brand new Snap figures, don't forget to scroll down, tickle that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'd say let's kick this video off by taking a look at one of the biggest sets inside the entire wave, which is the Glamrock Freddy with Dressing Room. Now, as we can see right off the bat, this Freddy has a bit of different colors to him, which is interesting. Looks a bit more saturated. I'm not sure why they went this route with this figure, because they do already have a Glamrock Freddy standalone figure in the wave. And they don't have Roxanne, but they decided to do two recolors of Freddy and Monty, as we're going to see later on. So definitely a weird route Funko decided to take, but I have just taken it out of its box. This is what you get. Let me quickly decorate this room and put together this Freddy figure, then I'll show it off for you guys. All right, this is what the finished set looks like, and honestly, it's got a whole bunch of detail, which I was very surprised about. Of course, it can't have every single decoration from Freddy's green room in Security Breach, but it's got the basics down, and frankly, that's enough to sell the illusion. You've got Freddy's makeup, uh, you know, desk and mirror, where he quite literally gets all glammed up for his shows. You've got the arcade machine in the back, the door that leads behind uh, Freddy's room. Obviously, that's where we go into the vent at the very start of Security Breach. The floor is decorated. The walls got the, you know, checkered board pattern going on. It's got artwork of Freddy's face, as well as his name, his signature, his lightning bolt. The Freddy figure itself is very detailed. Like I said, this one's a bit different because it's got uh, very exaggerated colors on him, but you can easily tell it's Glamrock Freddy. He comes with his microphone as well, a different faceplate, a bit of a meaner one that you can swap between. So overall, just a fantastic set. As you're going to see, this entire wave three of Funko Snap FNAF figures have a whole bunch of details. And speaking of Freddy, why don't we move on to his singular set, which is Glamrock Freddy Single Pack. This one obviously comes with a Glamrock Freddy that is much more accurate in colors to what Glamrock Freddy looks like in the game. So let's rip and tear this open. Oh boy. And actually, that kind of worked out well. Anyways, though, this is traditional Glamrock Freddy in all of his accurately colored glory. I've put a bit of a meaner face on him. This is, again, one of the interchangeable face plates you can put on these figures. Comparing him to the other Freddy figure, yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between the colors on these figures. And once again, the details on these guys is just absolutely insane. The face paint, the bow tie, you know, the, the spiky wristbands they've got on, the earrings, it's all there. It all looks fantastic. And while on the topic of the traditional glam rocks let us now take a look at the chica and monty two pack like i said unfortunately there is no roxanne snap just yet though it was leaked that one is on the way as well as map bot no, not Mapbot. I think it's just a traditional staff bot as well as Helpy. But cracking into this Glamrock Chica and Monty 2 pack, you can see the different face plates they have now come with their shattered variants of Glamrock Chica and Monty. First up, we've got Glamrock Chica in all of her glory. Once again, this is intact Chica. This is before we crush her in the trash compactor in the kitchen. And just like the Freddies, just like Monty, we're gonna see in a quick second, Chica is absolutely phenomenal in terms of detail and spot on accuracy. You've got all the differently colored segments on her body, you know, her mazer size uniform, her sweatpants, the gloves, the earrings, the bow, it all looks fantastic. Next up, we've got Shattered Chica. This is Chica's other faceplate that you can put on her. Unfortunately, you don't really get the full Shattered Chica, you know, appearance because it is just her face that you can change it kind of gets the job done you've got a giant piece of her face just ripped right off gregory you absolute monster and now we've got classic montgomery gator once again detail on this guy is absolutely phenomenal you've got his tail at the back once again all of his except whoa your face is a little weird there monty i guess i didn't put it on all the way Sunglasses, the belt at the bottom, he's got his pants. Crazy mohawk at the top. Once again, phenomenal accessory in the form of his bass guitar. And just like Chica swapping his faceplate, we get Shattered Monty, which definitely doesn't really give the illusion of Shattered Monty because, well, he's still got his legs. Well, actually, I suppose you could. Just take those right off. And now, now it's really like Shattered Monty. Look at him go. Just imagine him crawling on the floor towards you. 
There we go, Shadow and Monty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Easy solution. And like I said earlier, there's another version of Monty with more saturated colors with his green room, appropriately titled Montgomery Gator with Dressing Room. And just like the Freddy duplicate set, you can see the colors on Monty are exaggerated greatly. A whole bunch of saturation turned up on this guy. Thankfully, he does come with different accessories and decorations to put around his green room. This is what the room looks like fully built. And as you can see, once again, whole bunch of detail. I'm gonna keep saying it. You've got the art of his face. Once again, the signature, the area where he gets all glammed up. Brand new arcade machine, the door that goes behind his stage. The door has been flipped, so it's on the other side of the room. That's simply just so it matches up with Freddy's room. Because you can actually connect all these sets together, something I'll show you once we get to the other third and final set. But you've got the couch there as well, a barrel, and I guess a little pool thing that you put water in. I don't know, he's a crocodile, I guess it makes sense. But you've even got all the claw marks, around the room, on the walls, on the sofa, he's ripping it up. It's an amazing set once again. And just like the regular Monty figure, this one comes with a changeable faceplate to give him a bit more of a shattered Monty look. Moving on now, we have the final single pack for today, which is Vanny. Now this set is super interesting, because as you can see, it comes with a unmasked version of Vanny, which looks a lot like the woman we see at the ending of the, the fire escape ending, where Vanny gets pushed off the, off the roof of the pizza plex and she gets unmasked by Greg. This video isn't meant to be a theory or speculation video on whether or not that woman is Vanessa or her twin or her robot version. I, I have no clue. FNAF gets confusing nowadays, dude. We're just here to build the funny white woman. So let's do exactly that. This is what Vanny looks like, of course, unmasked. Once again, showing the person underneath the suit. Vanny does come with a pizza cutter accessory, not a knife this time around. Looks like that was changed. Putting on the mask, this is what default Vanny looks looks like with her traditional mask on. And you already know what I'm gonna say, the colors and patterns around Vanny's suit, they're fantastic. They line up perfectly with what Vanny looks like in Security Breach. Much better than Funko's original figure that came out in 2020. This second faceplate is a bit more digital in the eyes. I think it's supposed to represent when Gregory is too close to Vanny, so his vision gets all blurry and glitchy. It's not too much of a difference between this faceplate and the other one we just looked at, but I guess it's there for for a bit more extra detail and, and yet another callback to Security Breach. But now we move on to our final set of Security Breach snaps to look at for this video and it is the real white woman we're gonna be taking a look at. It is of course Vanessa with Hallway. I honestly did not think they were going to do a Vanessa figure even though she's a pretty important character in the main game. I just wasn't sure how they were going to do an unmasked version of Vanessa and well, it was actually pretty simple. Cause as you can see, the decision they made was just to have Vanessa skull underneath her face. Come on, that is hilarious. But this is what the set normally looks like. It's relatively small, at least compared to the other sets we've looked at, Freddy and Monty's green room. And also, quite frankly, I'm not that big a fan of the face plates for Vanessa herself. Right, you've got her ponytail at the back, her shirt, her badge, the security, you know, hat, it's all there. But her face plates, man, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed. But then you've got a worried expression, and it's like, when is she ever worried in the game? I would have much preferred like a traditional smile. I know she's not necessarily smiley and happy and, you know, friendly towards Gregory in the actual game, but I mean, come on, like, what are these two expressions? An angry smirk and then worried? And lastly, I promised I'd show it to you guys towards the end of the video. This is what all three of the sets look like conjoined together. And why not? Let's throw in all the other figures there so you can see the full wave all together in one. But that's gonna do it for my review of the Security Breach Funko Snaps. Tell me what are your thoughts in the comments down below. Frankly, I love these guys. I freaking love the Snap figures. 